What's happening in the world? It's April 7th. My name is Reagan. They call me the Doom Wizard. And I want to welcome all the new subscribers. I've been over here telling the truth for about four years and getting blacklisted from YouTube in the process. I make the content that I want to see. And you watch it, which means you like it. So use this time to slap the thumb up button. We need at least 50. And look, someone even sent me fan mail from the Netherlands. Some nice artwork and words with my name. I give it to you straight. We're raw dogging it, just the way you like it. A lot happened. Another crazy ass week on Earth. Are you ready? Summer coming early? New NOAA forecast map predicts warm three months in almost all the states because of our doped up atmosphere from greenhouse gases. Finland is building an underground storage that will hold 5,500 tons of waste. The Onkalo will be the next high level nuclear waste produced from five nuclear power plants in their entire life cycles. You know about this, Jarko? Ohio oil production surges to new highs, and NASA's first female chief engineer at Kennedy Space Center wants to put a space station around the moon because YOLO. Gold bullion and uranium hits new highs and companies rush to issue bonds, forestall mar market volatility ahead of the U.S. election, which is going to be unprecedented. There's that word. French public sector workers who staff hospitals, public transportation, and museums are threatening to strike during the Olympics, setting up Emmanuel's Macron's government for a shutdown. About 16 million people are expected in Paris for the games that will focus planetary attention on the city from July 26th to the 11th. There is a barking dog which I have no control over. Bear with me. France offers 1,900 euro to fight back. Everyone is protesting everywhere about something because there's always some bullshit. Even locking themselves in cages and blocking Tel Aviv Road. What? Living hand to mouth, a record number of police officers are turning to food banks. And farmers are claiming benefits tolling their farms are hobbies and to get jobs, both in United Kingdom. AI chatbots beat humans at persuading their opponents in debates. Well, no shit. My experience with some humans I've talked to would take a rock to convince them. This is how it is. A whole lot of smart people... A whole lot of dumb people. Mass shooting in Indianapolis. Turkey had local elections. I don't know who won. Doesn't matter. South Korea doctors are still on strike. Record wildfires hit Venezuela and Greece. But it's okay because California fast food workers get $20 an hour now. That's half a million slaves now finally being able to buy a new pair of shoes. Yay. Eat a bega. Biden sets Trans Day on Easter, and the D.C. Archbishop jabs Biden as a cafeteria Catholic, Catholic who picks and chooses for his political advantage. Lots of finger pointing here. Trump compares himself to Jesus, and then his media company plunges more than 25% after company reports a net loss of $58 million in 2023. U.S. sold more liquefied gas on the global market than any other country in 23. Surpassing yet another milestone, drillers in the U.S. broke records for production last year because YOLO again. By December, wells across the lower 48 states were generating nearly 106 billion cubic feet of gas per day. Do you need a drink? I told you I'm going to give it to you straight. Scientists have discovered 16 million year old remains of the largest river dolphin ever found after unearthing a fossilized skull in the Amazon. Elon, you know our boy Elon, the one who will save us. You have come down to save us. Unveil, unveils a lunar roof, an AI solar panel to generate electricity from moonlight. Time to go back to the moon, but do not focus on the finger or you will miss all of its heavenly glory. North Korea fires an intermediate range missile into eastern waters. Actually, it was a new solid fuel hypersonic missile because science. School shooting in Finland, a 12 year old did it, okay? Israel, Gaza situation is a nightmare. Killed humanitarian workers, the world is mad. American Islamic hate reports in the US are off the charts. According to a new report by Sierra, two studies in the Southern Ocean near Antarctica revealed that Antarctic krill ingest various types of microplastics from clothing and other textiles. Even remote regions can be exposed to our plastic use. Highway 1 collapses in California and abortion is banned in Florida. 
massive wildfires raging across northern Thailand, floods, droughts, extreme rain, heat waves all over the world, even in Russia. Pretty much just pick a cardinal direction and you'll be in some weather extreme. I can't keep up, don't expect me to. NASA will grow plants including duckweed, cress, and brassica on a mini lunar greenhouse when Artemis Tress mission returns humans to the moon. Lunar effects on agricultural flora or leaf is one of the three experiments chosen to go to the moon in 2026. Here's a pro tip. To reduce anger, it is better to engage in activities that decrease arousal level. Despite what popular wisdom may suggest, even going for a run is not an effective strategy because it increases arousal levels and ends up being counterproductive. I wish I would have knew this in my 20s. Effective arousal reducing activities include slow flow yoga, Mindfulness, progressive muscle relaxation, diaphragmatic breathing, and taking a timeout. Look, I'm taking a timeout. Cicada Geddon will hit America for the first time since 1803. Experts say going to be trillions of these alien bugs from the ground coming out to say hello. Get hearing protection. Biden and Xi Jinping are having phone dates again. And bird flu was detected in a human in Texas, exposed to a cow, I think. The largest egg distribution in Tejas and somewhere else I forgot. Shell you know, a company, so how could it speak, says a landmark emissions ruling won't help climate goals. It'll actually hurt businesses instead, and there's essentially no way they can reduce emissions by 45% by 2030. Hmm, sounds like a predicament to me. Other synonyms for this include hole, corner, pickle, or fucked. But it's okay, because Taylor Swift is a billionaire, now solely based on music, if you want to even call it that. Aren't you just thrilled? Did that news make your day? RFK Jr. says that Biden threat to democracy more than Trump. Flame retardants are found in thousands of consumer products linked to cancer and people for the first time, like sofas, office furniture, yoga mats, and meat sauce? Meat sauce. White House directs NASA to create a time standard for the moon. And scientists capture stunning images of ocean life and propose deep sea mining zone because... profits. Vermont advances bill requiring fossil fuel companies to pay for damage caused by CC. News 2 studies from, from Zillow says that you have to earn $106,000 to $110,000 a year with your partner to own a home, but wages haven't increased. Major freight railroads now will need two-person crews, and the Chicago Symphony Orchestra has a 28-year-old from Finland running the show in 2027. More billionaires on the planet than ever, and they're richer than ever. 2,781 of them, and they control $14.2 trillion. So while you slave for pennies, are we fucked or what? It's the Great Reset. Jordan Peterson, the Illuminati, man. You know? They're brainwashing you. It's all lies. I'm going to say that with full integrity. Not provide any credible sources because I'm superior to you. Nothing is real. Look, I'm holding up six fingers. Right? The sky is purple. I don't need peer-reviewed sources. It just is. That way it saves me the embarrassment of being wrong because that feelings are too overwhelming. I can just say it is. Magic. Post-truth. In a nutshell. Don't drink the water. They put something in the water. Oh yeah, and migrating birds can't keep up with CC, especially on the West Coast. Snorkeler in Australia spotted a sand mullet with wedding band wrapped around it. Now we finally made it to Wednesday. Yeah, that's all happening. Keep going. I made 37 cents on YouTube in the first two days. See guys, I need your support. I can't do this for free. Your April dues are due. YouTube doesn't pay me. National debt will hit 141 trillion by 20 54 and none of us will be around cost of living crisis how desperate all sees on a six-figure salaries are now turning to after pay to buy groceries everyday essentials they're using buy now pay later united kingdom might have the wettest 18 months on record but it could still face water shortages and hose pipe bans this year if the summer is hot and dry scientists are warming this is because water storage facilities have so little capacity and this country can't stockpile enough Haiti has become an open-air prison with apocalyptic violence tearing up the streets three weeks on since Prime Minister was resigned. Gang members now run the streets and war-torn Caribbean nations are equipped with military-grade guns and are illegally shipped from the U.S. Pentagon launches tech to stop AI killing machines from going rogue on the battlefield due to robot fooling visual noise. This is all fear-mongering, okay? That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to make you scared. 
At least Dale Wolver feels secure and optimistic about all this. 13 dead and thousands injured in Taiwan's strongest earthquake in 25 years. The TSMC semiconductor plant had to evacuate. People were blown from apartments as typhoon-like winds ravaged South China. Air Fris France issues strike notice for April. Biden had a meeting with the Muslims in the White House and a physician just walked out. He handed him a letter from an 8-year-old begging him not to allow Israel to invade Rafa where her and a million other refugees live. A powerful storm in the northeast with two inches to two feet of snow, but ski areas are delighted. Building a wall around the Antarctic sea ice shelf not enough to stop sea level rising, research says. The odds of winning the Powerball jackpot are 1 in 292 million. Casualties from Myanmar landmines jumped to over 1,000 in the last year, and Ukraine packed a Cessna-style plane with explosives, adding remote controls and kamikaze into a Russian drone factory 600 miles away. Talk about hard, bruh. Global warming will enable tropical species from the Atlantic to colonize the Mediterranean Sea, and White House and Texas law lawyers are back in court over migrant cross crossings in that new SB40 law or whatever it is. Biden trying to lower prescription prices. Bernie said Americans are sick and tired for, for paying expensive drugs, and his office catches on fire due to arson. Wonder what people are up to. Nor'easter is messing people up. John Sinclair died. Biden admin proves nation's eighth largest offshore wind project in Massachusetts, and six in ten adults doubt mental capabilities of Biden and Trump, new poll finds. Surprise. Zimbabwe president declares state of a disaster due to drought. Poor rains, more than 2.7 million people will not have a food to put on their table this year. Mongolia deep freeze kills millions of animals. Former BP boss says we need 3.5 trillion a year to fight cc no let's give it to the hands of all the billionaires and remember about aerosol masking right the most important graph in the world confirms increased earth's energy imbalance from aerosol reduction at 0.2 watts per meter squared a decade increasing greenhouses at 0.34 watts per meter squared up from 2019 this doesn't include the 2020 shipping desulfurization yet expect acceleration of warming this decade Buckle up. Macron says he has no doubt that Russia will attack the Paris Olympics, and Kremlin denies it. Every country keeps sending weapons to Israel, and Israel beefs up defenses on high alert after an Iran revenge threat. Okay, another war everywhere all the time. In fact, U.S. this week approved transfer of thousands of bombs to Israel. It doesn't even make sense. Okay, WTF. Protect civilians in Gaza or U.S. policy will change, Biden then says. Russia fired missiles from its nuclear submarine, and the U.S. Department of Energy releases first-ever federal blueprint to decarbonize America's building sectors. Yeah, fat chance of that. Tropics lost an equivalent of 10 soccer fields of forest per minute last year due to logging, human set fires, and CEC, according to World Resources Institute. In total, 9.1 million acres of primary tropical forest were destroyed last year, according to the report. Colombia saw a 49% reduction in forest loss compared to 2022. Okay, let's move on. Janet Yellen, who's way too old, met China to defuse tensions because, you know, she's a good diplomat. Why is she negotiating for us? A cheap pair of reading glasses can increase income by one-third in low- and middle-income countries. Trump tried to dismiss his classified documents case, but what's new? It's all a witch hunt. Inflation and high prices are top of the people's mind, especially for parents. Must, man, it must feel impossible. Child care tax credit ran out, so I'm guess I'm glad I don't have kids. Isn't capitalism great? We've commodified everything, including love and your soul. Kremlin says Russia and NATO are now in, quote, direct confrontation, and U.S. Secretary Blinken says Ukraine will be a NATO member. Germany announces reforms of Bundeswehr to get ready for war. I butchered that. Well, there we go. It's time for fucking war. Stock up. That's all I can say. 2025. Here we come. Euro area banking stocks are at the most overbought in history. Chile port workers stage protests threatening commodity exports, copper, lithium, pulp, fruit. Oil tops $90 and stocks tumble as geopolitical tensions jolt markets. Did I mention already that the Powerball was up to $1.2 billion and a guy in Oregon won it? Trump had a fundraiser dinner Saturday night with a bunch of lunatics and raised $50 million? 
flooding on West Virginia Island, and Trump also accused President Biden of being, quote, higher than a kite and insisted that any debate with him should be drug tested because he said during his State of the Union speech he was all jacked up and tired at the end, and they found a little baggie near the White House doing the blow. Earthquake hit New Jersey Friday was a 4.8 in Vermont, New York, and another one, this time 6.0 in Tonga Islands. Run! It's Godzilla! It looks like Godzilla, but due to international copyright laws. More jobs added in March, and CO2 emissions regulated under European emissions fell by a record 15.5% in 2023 as renewable outputs soared. Too little, too late. Thieves steals $30 million from California money storage facility, and a team of physicists and engineers at Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory built a twisting fusion reactor known as a Stellarator that uses permanent magnets showing, showcasing a potentially cost-effective way of building powerful machines. Hmm. American banks are sabotaging their own climate commitments by financing meat, dairy, and feed corporations, according to a report, by funding from 58 banks to animal protein and feed companies in the form of loans and underwriting. 80% of worldwide carbon emissions since 2016 are attributable to 57 companies and countries, according to a new report. Combination of nation states, state-owned companies, and investor-owned companies. Russia, India, Iran, Chevron, etc. But it's okay, Biden went to go look at the bridge. Aww. Bernie's office in Vermont caught fire, we talked about that. Dwayne says, The Rock says endorsing Biden for 2020 caused division and it tears his guts up. Woke culture really bugs me. March's monthly average sea surface temperature, the Atlantic continues to shatter records. In fact, this year it has not and will not get below 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit for the first time in recorded history. In fact, the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere today is comparable to around 4.3 million years ago when the sea level was about 75 feet higher and the average temp was 7 degrees Fahrenheit higher than pre-industrial times. Large forests occupied areas of the Arctic that are now tundra. That's baked in, folks. You think you're safe and alive? You're already dead. Everybody, if you, you're dead already. This whole place, everything you see is gone. You're the one living in a fucking dream cell. In addition, recent research from Guangdong University of Technology found that wearing a fast fashion jeans creates a whopping 2.5 kilograms of carbon emissions. The equivalent of wear and tear of the pants is equivalent to driving 6.4 miles in an average gasoline powered car. New research from Cicero, Australia's National Space Agency, says there's 11 million metric tons of plastic pollution sitting on the ocean floor. Mexico ends diplomatic ties with Ecuador after police break into its embassy in Quito? What the fuck? Is there a South American war starting now on top of everything else? Porque. Shooting an outdoor mall in Miami leaves two dead, seven injured. Police detain Greta twice at a protest in Hague. <laughs> We are here because we are facing an existential crisis. We are in a planetary emergency, and we are not going to stand by and let people lose their lives and livelihood and be forced to become climate refugees when we can do something. Protesting does nothing. Sierra Leone declares national emergency after a steep rise of the use of Kush. It's a marijuana, titanol, and tramadol mix. German military vessels intercept Houthi missiles. Two planes at Heathrow Airport collide on the ground. Japan's Kushida warns that the world is at a historic turning point as he touts U.S. alliance. No shit. First Superman comic from 1938 sold for $6 million at an auction. Russian space capsule landed back in Kazakhstan. It's our last alliance ground with Russia. World's oldest man says the secret to long life is luck, moderation, and fish and chips every Friday. 111 years old, born in Liverpool, is a retired accountant. I hate accountants. Maybe that's like hating a river, mountains, or the sky, because we have no free will. Or maybe we have levels of free will, because we have critical thinking, right? You could still think and re-examine your actions, right? Trump made $50 million at his fundraiser. We talked about that. Now it's Sunday. Tens of thousands march in Budapest against Orban. Russ Cook ran across Africa 10,190 miles and was robbed at gunpoint and held hostage by people with machetes. And Billie Holiday's birthday was on Sunday. What a week. What a time to be alive. 
I appreciate your support and company. Hit the like, use the PayPal donation link, and have yourselves a good week. I'm going to go look at the moon thing now, I guess. So, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.